Okay, so last fall we raised silky chickens to be our in-yard chickens. Not only for the eggs, but also to help control pests and bugs in the yard and around the gardens. And the big thing about silky chickens is that they are just so cute. I mean, just look at them. Look how adorable they are. Look at their little fluff ball on your head. This is Edwina, by the way. She's our favorite, don't tell the others. I mean, how could they not be? Just look how tiny they are. Even their eggs are cute and tiny. And everybody knows the tinier the animal, the cuter it is. I mean, it's basic science. I drew this graph to illustrate. So you know I had to build a coop just as equally as cute. So I built this. I give you the classic chicken trailer. Let me tell you about this bad boy here. Like most of my projects here around the Quinstead, my goal was to do this as cheap as possible. So I was able to build almost the entire coop out of pallets, scrap wood, and leftover materials from other projects. Big shout out to my neighbor Paul, who some of y'all might have seen in the best homemade chicken coop video. He gave me a couple big old pieces of scrap plywood that came in real clutch when building this coop. He also started his own welding company recently and he can fabricate just about dang near anything. So I'll try to leave a link in the description below once he has his website up online in case any of y'all wanna go check out his work or if you need anything fabricated. If y'all wanna see a full detailed in-depth video on how I built this coop let me know in the comments below and I will try to make that happen on the front side here we got a little door for them to go in and out of Ooh, wow Ooh, wow we also got two little windows on the front side for perfect ventilation and to prevent the coop from getting too hot I lined all the windows with this half inch hardware cloth to help protect them when we leave these windows open during the nighttime on the front of the trailer we got a nice little trailer tongue here also equipped with this super cute pink propane tank not actually propane this is actually an old refrigerant bottle that I found behind the dumpster at work from one of the AC guys to get to the inside here I've built the whole back side so it can open and close you just have to remove a couple nails on the side and then pull up on this handle and the whole backside opens up. For the inside of the coop, I lined the inside with this AstroTurf. If y'all seen any of our other videos, you know I love using AstroTurf in coops because you can just pull it out rinse it off to clean it off that way you're not having to put tons of wood shavings in there for the roost bars i went ahead and borrowed a bunch of tree branches off of a dead cedar tree and just screwed those right in make kind of like a stairway up for extra hot days during the summer you can also pull back this astroturf and expose this vent i put in at the bottom that way cooler air can come in through the bottom and all the hotter air can escape out the top through the windows for the nesting box i got super crafty and I turned an old cooler into a nesting box here and that sits right up on the side there using the lid off of the cooler and an old kitty litter box I turned them into a nice chicken feeder here and that goes right inside like that and then for your waterer just use the standard chicken waterer right there and that goes right in the middle now they got everything they need inside for the roof of this trailer, I was able to get my hands on some reclaimed tin. I just cut those down to little pieces and folded them all over the roof of the tractor there. On the other side of the trailer here, we got this big huge window here just to help with more ventilation and cross breeze. And then down on the bottom here, we have our access for the nesting boxes. That way you can get in here and grab your eggs without having to open the whole back end up. With as cool as this trailer is, I still think it's a little unfinished. I have this big, huge blank space here that I feel like a mural or a silhouette of something would be perfect on, but I need y'all's help on that. I need you to leave a comment below on what you think should go on this blank space here, but you have to be subscribed to have a say so. So click that subscribe button, leave a comment below on what you think should go right here on the side of the trailer. Also, let me know what other little cool little doodads we should put on this trailer. I was thinking maybe some lights on the back here, maybe some flower boxes underneath the windows, that kind of stuff. So if there's anything cool that y'all want to see put on this trailer, let me know in the comments below and we'll try to make it happen. I've even picked out the perfect spot in the yard here to turn into these gals chicken RV park. But like any great RV park, they're going to need great amenities. Maybe a clubhouse, maybe a luxury pool. Maybe I'll put up some string lights to deck this whole thing out. Heck, maybe even a bingo hall so the gals can go play bingo every Tuesday and Thursday night. Hey, where y'all going? Your trailer's over here.
Ah, whatever. But I need y'all to let me know in the comments what amenities you want to see in this trailer park, and we'll make it a future video. Thanks for watching.